Ciao a tutti. Mi chiamo Millie Simpkins. Grazie mille per l'attenzione. Hello, everybody. My name is Millie Simpkins. Thank you very much for listening. Please don't worry. I'm not going to try to give my whole presentation in Italian. So up on the screen, there are two pictures. The one on the left is me standing in front of several Weber barbecue grill accessories. This is because prior to coming to Barilla, I worked for Weber, the barbecue grill manufacturer. My specialty there was developing packaging for their accessories. I helped develop packaging for everything from tool sets to grill covers to much more. The picture on the right is me in front of a street mural here in Chicago. Now, as I'm sure you all know, because your English is probably much better than my Italian, Penny for Your Thoughts is just a question we can ask someone when we want to know what they're thinking, particularly if they've been quiet a long time. What is it about me? Well, if I can speak frankly for a moment, starting a new job has been a very humbling experience. I feel like in pretty much the span of one week, I went from being a source of information, someone that my coworkers could ask questions and get answers from, to being the person that's always asking the questions. And I know that some of my questions have probably seemed ridiculous at times, but one question I've asked myself a lot, just because I feel so lucky to be here, is what is it about me? What is it about me that made Barilla hire me? Is it the fact that I'm a millennial? By definition, a millennial is someone that was born in the 1980s or 1990s. We also know that millennials are associated with being technologically savvy, having purchasing power and influence. I also know that Barilla places a lot of value on the opinion of millennials just from the marketing meetings I've gotten to attend. So is that it? Or maybe it's because I graduated from Michigan State University, the best school for studying packaging here in the United States. Coincidentally, it's also the same school that both Charlie and Jennifer graduated from. Or maybe it's because I'm a CPP, a Certified Packaging Professional, from IOPP, the Institute of Packaging Professionals. I don't know, but recently I spit into a cup and got this email back telling me that I am 6% Italian. These are my Ancestry Kit results. So as I mentioned, I graduated from Michigan State University, the best school for studying packaging here in the United States. During my college career, I completed two internships. The first was at Toyota, the automotive manufacturer. There, I collected defective automotive parts and investigated if their damage was due to insufficient packaging or perhaps something else, like maybe a man driving a fork truck dropped a whole pallet of seat belts. My second internship was with Nestle at their product technology center in Marysville, Ohio. There, I tested bottles like the one you see here. After college, I worked for one year at Adams Foam, a small family-owned company on the south side of Chicago. I was an industrial packaging designer designing foam case inserts as well as the occasional seat cushion. I worked with both polyethylene and polyurethane foams, but never polystyrene. Then I went to Alberto Culver where I worked as a packaging lab technician testing beauty care products like shampoo bottles and lotion. I worked at Weber the longest from 2011 to 2017. I chose these two images because the one on the left is of a spirit gas grill. During my first year with the company, I had to develop packaging for 120 different replacement parts. If you can believe it, that little gas grill, which is not much taller than a shampoo bottle, just kidding, nothing's to scale on this page, has 120 different replacement parts. 
So the other pictures you see to the right are just some more examples of accessories, tool sets, bear claw shredders, and skewers. In February of 2017, I made perhaps the biggest decision of my life. I said goodbye to Weber, and if you look in that little screen there, that's a picture of me with my coworkers on my last day. So I said goodbye to Weber and hello to Barilla, and that's a picture of me the day that I got my welcome basket. I was very excited, and I'm still very excited to be here. So I just got done describing a very diverse portfolio of products that I've had the pleasure of working on during my career so far. Everything from durable goods like barbecues to more consumable goods like shampoo bottles and now even edible goods here at Barilla. So I consider one of my strengths to be my versatility. I also think I'm pretty good at analytical thinking because I've been able to find simple solutions to complex problems. Now, I put courage. I know that Barilla definitely values courage from the fact that we have a conference room named after it, as well as it's on the front cover of this book I'm reading right now. I believe it says Forge Ahead with Courage. I think that I'm a pretty courageous person from changing packaging that's been the same for almost 10 years to ultimately quitting my job at Weber and coming here and now even showing you embarrassing pictures of myself like this one of me here showing off my guns a few years ago down at a gym in Orlando, Florida. I'm not sure if my guns or my muscles are still that big, but <laughs> I also think I'm persistent. While I might not always have the answers, I will always keep looking for them. Lastly, I consider communication to be one of my strengths that I've developed as a result of all the global business experience I've gained. When I was the packaging engineer on the accessory core team at Weber, I got to work with people from North America, Europe, and Asia, and I'm really excited that I get to work with all of you now. As I'm sure most of you are aware, we have this idiom here in the United States, wear many hats. So you might hear someone say, for example, oh, she's the mother of two boys, she's a wife, she's a breadwinner, and she's a packaging engineering manager. She wears many hats. So I decided to modify this idiom to wear many shoes so that I can show you a few of my favorite pairs of shoes while telling you more about my interests and my hobbies. If you think about it, there are a lot of analogies that can be drawn from footwear and packaging. Both have to fit, function, protect, and they should look good. So the first shoe I wanna talk about is this one. This is my steel-toed work shoe. It represents what I love most about being a packaging engineer. That is getting to go on plant tours. I love seeing different products manufactured. During my career, I've gotten to see everything from crackers to playground slides get manufactured. And more recently, I got to visit Barilla's plant in Ames, Iowa, which was awesome. So over here are my pink slippers. These represent a recently acquired paid hobby of mine, teaching English online. I'm very passionate about teaching English online because I believe that once the world knows English, business transactions will go smoother and people will become better connected. So usually when I teach, I get dressed from the waist up, but from the waist down, I'm just in my pajamas and slippers. This here is a Western boot. It's something that I wear every Friday when I go two-step dancing. Two-step is a simple dance. Anyone can do it. It goes something like, veloce, veloce, lento, lento. Veloce, veloce, lento, lento. So you just move your feet quick, quick, slow, slow. These 
Oh, and what's funny is if you turn the boot this way, it looks a lot like this country I really hope to visit. So these are my climbing shoes. I already showed you an embarrassing picture of myself earlier at the climbing gym. I really enjoy climbing walls. It's a way that I burn off extra energy. And this is my motorcycle boot. I own a 1986 Honda Rebel 450. It's not a very big bike, but to put it in perspective, I think the engine is about three times the size of the average Vespa. But who's counting? So I just want to end by saying in all seriousness, I'm very grateful to have been invited to join this company. I feel like Barilla is a very progressive company that definitely values its employees that wear many hats and wear many shoes. Grazie.